Hey everyone, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Hopefully everybody is having an absolutely fantastic day going into the weekend, or I guess depending on whenever you guys are actually watching this video. But I do wish you guys the absolute best. But if you guys are enjoying my Red Dead videos, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. And honestly, it really does help out a lot of other people because if they are looking for either fun and entertaining videos or even tips and tricks or whatever else it might be, I do offer a variety, a huge variety of Red Dead Online content here on the channel. Definitely make sure that you guys check it out. A lot of stuff still definitely applies till this day so make sure that you guys go ahead and check that out and make sure that you guys do those three simple things because it's going to help other people find the videos um, as well so they can get helped out the way that they need to anyway let's go ahead and sell some moonshine because i have some moonshine that needs to be okay. sold and it needs to be done fairly quickly in like the next 14 minutes um, and i'm going to sell because it is a 50 percent bonus right now obviously so we're going to take advantage of it um i do plan on coming back and doing one of the special moonshine recipes if possible uh i still have yet to create a poison poppy moonshine which is the more newer opportunity to do this um and you need to get that by uh finding a rival moonshiner production company and then you basically kill them and then you loot the recipe from them so there you go um, that's how you get that. It's a random thing. Yeah, mine I found out in the Blue Water Marsh area. So I wish you guys the best of luck when you're finding it because it's kind of random. Anyway, let's go ahead and start this cell message, cell mission. And we want to be able to you save are, as many right. and deliver as many bottles oh. as possible. We don't want to, are, uh, to break any like the last time that we did on yes. delivery because that was uh, absolutely terrible. Also, that was pretty much uh, one of the uh, bit worst deliveries that I've ever done sure. in quite some time. We wish to make a good impression. Uh, these customers have shown they have some uh, good taste. Their palate is simple, of course, but given their lack of culture, uh, I have to admit that they have chosen well. These, They've chosen uh, well, have they? Can you just get on with it, man? arrive uh, quickly and in one piece, yes? I wish you could, like, fast forward this conversation. It's like the one with Crips when you're doing the trader roll. It just takes way too long. All right. So we got the homestead. I like this one because it's actually relatively close to where we actually have to go. We only have to deal with one. Uh, you only ever have to deal with a one um, revenue um, stand. Yeah, that's right. Donkey. Get out the way, donkey. I'm going to run. I'm going to hit this rock. I don't want to hit this rock. Don't tell, don't say what, duh. Oh, I hope this guy doesn't grief me. If this guy griefs me, I'm going to be so beyond pissed off. It's going to be absolutely ridiculous. Okay, he seems to be letting me go. Let's go over that kind of nice and gently. There we go. Oh, there, it's the law, man. Oh, he's, he's running. He's, he's accepting the law, so that's why he doesn't want to have anything to do with me. That works for me. works for me all right look at it's uh, the sun is setting here in uh, the frontier looking absolutely fantastic i still think that for going on three years it's two and a half years old now the game is that it still abs looks absolutely amazing it's beautiful um they did such a fantastic job at the creation of the world in my opinion now the online still has some desire to be worked on when it comes to opportunities and things that you can actually do and spend your money on but oh so he okay so he must have killed off my my revenue agents okay all right see uh i was mentioning that in actually one of my tips and tricks that you can actually help people out so he was nice enough to actually clear out the area for me and now i just shouldn't have to deal with any revenue agents along the way which is absolutely fantastic i love that when that actually happens so this should be a relatively easy and safe journey over to this homestead. Yeah, and this is the one that I was thinking of. It's not that far away, which is absolutely fantastic. Look at this. A delivery, I mean, even even a cutscene introduction into my video is not even going to take five minutes to deliver this moonshine wagon, which is pretty cool. I think there's actually a daily challenge, if I remember right, for today that I'm actually doing this, that there was to deliver a moonshine with at least five minutes left on the clock, which I think we'll be able to easily be able to do, which is which is really nice. Not that I need the gold or really need the money because well, I don't really know what I'm going to spend it on, but eh, it's something to do and it's something fun to uh, entertain ourselves with. But here we go. Here's the delivery. Easy peasy.
So we got, uh, oh, there's actually a collectible here in the area. I can feel my um, controller vibrate a little bit. So we're actually going to take a look and see where that is. So it must be in the house. Okay, it's going to be the comb. There it is. We'll just take the collectible. Why not? We're here anyway, so we might as well. And uh, if you guys don't do a lot of collecting and you guys need stuff throughout the world, I mean, these these houses and whatnot are great opportunities to go ahead and uh, get stuff that you guys might need to go ahead and, uh, yeah, you know, get the supplies that you might need, to be completely honest. Use your, use your eagle eye here. You can kind of see what is needed. Uh, we got some coffee, which I hardly ever make coffee because I got free coffee in my moonshine shack. But pick up whatever you guys need because you never know when you actually will will actually, will truly need it. Or instead of buying stuff, it's a great way to do it too. Uh, oh, the other thing I was actually going to quickly do is I was going to pull out my... Um, let's see. I want this, the metal detector. And it's not going off, so that's not the coin that I was hoping it was going to be. All right, cool. Nothing else in the area. I think that is pretty much it. Now, let's run back to our shack, our moonshine shack, that is, and start off our next um, flavor of the day. And I'm kind of hoping that we can do the poison poppy. Um, I don't think I've had the opportunity to go ahead and create that yet. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty nice. At least that guy didn't grief us and he actually cleared out the, the revenue agents for us And then he was actually being chased by them, which is kind of funny Which made it a lot easier for me to go ahead and uh, Make my delivery that I need to do. I didn't have to worry about any type of inspections I didn't have to worry about anything. The only thing that I couldn't do is I guess if uh, I wanted to get off the horse and off the wagon to loot them, which I definitely don't advise doing when you're doing a delivery because you have a good chance and a higher chance of getting your wagon either griefed or destroyed by NPCs or other players. But anyway, it is what it is. So let's get back to our moonshine shack here as soon as we possibly can. Create our poison poppy recipe and uh, hopefully call it a day. But let me know in the comment section if you guys are going to be doing moonshine deliveries over the weekend and getting that 50% bonus. I'd love to hear what from you guys, what you guys actually will be doing. And or if there's something else that you guys would like to see here in Red Dead Online, you can definitely go ahead and leave a comment down below. Um, because I'm definitely open to suggestions. I've done literally everything that I can possibly think of as far as videos go without repeating myself too much. But uh, definitely take a look at the other things that I have. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Marcel here. And see what we can actually go ahead and produce. My mesh is going to be expensive. So doing the bootlegger commissions will actually decrease the, the price of the mesh. But we're not going to do that right now. And it and it's a great way to go ahead and uh, get some collectibles as well. Uh, poison Poppy. Do we have any... Wow, we actually don't have that opportunity. Okay. Uh... And I don't even have Wild Creek is the only one that for a special recipe. All right. Well, I guess it is what it is. So let's go ahead and we'll do the. Yeah, let's do the Appleberry Cob or Cob, whatever. And we'll just do this one because we have a lot of the uh, ingredients for it. I think I have a lot of the ingredients for the other, all the other ones, too. The one that I typically do is this one because the ingredients are so incredibly easy to get. You can get either the American or the Alaskan ginseng. Wintergreen berries and evergreen berries you can typically find pretty close together, and they're all uh, very, very easy to get. You can get a, a ton of these materials and recipe so, uh, ingredients that you need every single day very, very quickly instead of, like, these special ones from time to time. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. We're starting our new batch of the Appleberry Moonshine. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it, and you guys stay gaming.